Now, Entertainment Tonight, the worldwide leader in entertainment news. Angelina's double mastectomy secret. How did she keep this drastic move against cancer so quiet? Hi, everybody, and welcome to Entertainment Tonight. And there is new concern for her biological children with breath. Could they be carrying the same faulty gene that can cause cancer? Brooke Anderson is in our Times Square studio. The reaction to this, Brooke, has been incredible. It has, Rob. The story broke here in the New York Times, and we've got the star reaction from coast to coast. Angelina's brave announcement is Entertainment Tonight's top story. What she has done potentially is going to save lives. Yeah. Angelina, the superstar, one of the most photographed women in the world, shares her dramatic story of having a double mastectomy to prevent developing cancer. The Oscar winner, whose mother Marceline died of ovarian cancer in 2007 at the age of 56, said in an article published in the New York Times today that she had made the difficult decision so she could tell her children, quote, they don't need to fear they will lose me. In 2008, Angelina talked about the loss of her mother. She was just the softest, most gentle woman in the world. She was the woman I relate to who had that elegance and, and strength through just knowing what was right. Tests had revealed that Angelina possessed the faulty BRCA1 gene. She wrote for the Times, quote, My doctors estimated that I had an 87% risk of breast cancer and a 50% risk of ovarian cancer. Her fiancé Brad called her heroic. I was on the set of GMA this morning where the news had a very real emotional impact. You are a breast cancer survivor. And I took the BRCA test. I don't, oh, yeah. the and gene I, test. Right, the yeah. gene test. And I understand uh, that you have to have counseling mm -hmm. to be able to handle when you hear the results of, of what yeah. it is. And for her to be so open okay. about it. It's kind of a surprising decision to think about a star choosing mm -hmm. to get a double mastectomy. But at the heart of it, it's also a family story. Angelina's brother, James Haven, said, quote, my sister, like our mother, always put her children first. I'm so grateful to be her brother. And Twitter lit up with shouts of support like that from friend Rosie O'Donnell. Bravo, Angelina, for sharing your truth. And Octavia Spencer, bravo for raising awareness. Angelina was treated here at the Pink Lotus Breast Center. Her initial procedure began on February 2nd, but her first major surgery to remove tissue was on the 16th. Then on April 20th, the star had reconstruction surgery with implants. By the 27th, Angelina finished three months of medical procedures and managed to keep it a secret. She wrote in the Times, during that time I have been able to keep this private and to carry on with my work. Brad Pitt's mother Jane said in a statement, quote, we're so very proud of Angie. This means so much to our family, especially our grandchildren. We love her dearly. I talked to reconstructive surgeon Dr. Stuart Linder about Angelina's case. Dr. Linder, genetically, what is the risk to Angelina's children? Well, the risks of, uh, of passing on the BRCA gene is significant. Obviously, in the future, they would want to be tested once they're at an age where they've had, you know, no longer breast development, maybe in their, their 20s. How could someone like Angelina Jolie keep this a secret? I think what she was trying to do is get through all three phases. Phase one was the testing, phase two was the mastectomy, and phase three was the reconstruction. Here's a startling statistic. Some 232,000 new cases of breast cancer will be diagnosed in women in the U.S. this year alone. And talking with Robin, I shared a little of my own family story. My mother just had a double mastectomy wow. too, so oh. I could also relate to knowing to take that preventive step if you can. Right, and it's an option. You know, you need to know that there are various options, but knowing that you have the history just makes you more aware and to be tested. Like for you to say that about your mom, it's like, it's, you know, you're young, but it's happening when you're younger and younger. I was 47 when I was diagnosed. Of course, Angelina learned her life lessons about cancer from her mother's early death. And as Bob Simon found out on 60 Minutes, the emotional impact lingers. My mother was it was a full-time mother. She didn't have much of her, her her own career, her own life, her own experiences, her own, you know, everything was for her children. And do you try to be the same kind of mom that she was? I will never be as good a mother as she was. I will try my best, but I don't think I could ever be. She was, she was just grace incarnate. She was the most generous loving 
she's better than me. <laughs> it's clear that you can talk about anything but your mother without, without dwelling up. Yeah. <laughs> that's my, that's my soft spot. Yeah. Yeah. Deaths related to breast cancer have declined over the last decade. Still, nearly 40,000 women lose their lives to the disease each year. Two of Charlie's angels, Kate Jackson and Jacqueline Smith, have survived breast cancer. Jacqueline has been cancer-free for over 10 years. And I think even though everybody's situation is different, you learn. You learn from each and every person. And it gives you strength. Breast cancer certainly, I think it's made me stronger. 20 years ago, Olivia Newton-John underwent a mastectomy. She said losing a breast ended her fears. And you don't know if it's spread anywhere else in your body. You don't know if you're going to die. You don't know um, anything. Jessica Queller is a busy TV writer with credits including Gossip Girl. Like Angelina, she carries the BRCA gene and underwent a preventive double mastectomy. I think what she has done by being so vocal and open is amazing. When I was facing these decisions in 2004, there was so little information about it. In her book, Pretty is What Changes, she shares what's different in her life. It takes around three months to finish the surgical process, and then the scars have to heal. She's known as a sex symbol, and for her to come out and say, none of that matters, what matters is health, what matters is life, what matters is that I'm here for my children, and you know, who cares? Whether I have natural breasts or not, that's like a pretty badass thing to do. Of course, Angelina still faces a significant risk of ovarian cancer, but she says she's made no decision about how to address that in the future. And we've got much more on this story coming up, including how Brad has helped her through this difficult time. Well, now let's get back to Angelina's courageous decision. How has the Oscar winner been able to transform from a wild child to one of the world's most inspirational women?